MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. A good one on tap for you this afternoon between the Boston Red Sox and the Oakland A's. The A's continue one of the longest winning streaks in baseball history. Jesus Luzardo will do the pitching in game three of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matty V, this ought to be exciting. This is one of the top young pitchers in the game right now. He keeps getting better. He keeps learning. And if he continues at this pace, this guy has a chance to be one of the more reliable pitchers in the game. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. But that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. And it's fouled away. Heading out towards shallow right. Right fielder is on the run, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Got it. Got it. The right fielder. Ready to deliver. Alex. Here's the first pitch. Verdugo. Alex Verdugo oh, on, is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. And Dan Dero, these A's as they begin play here this afternoon, they come in unbeaten and playing well here in the early going. Matty, this is the best team in baseball right now. I, I, just a double-digit winning streak that I mean maybe happens to two or three teams a year and you get this hot. This team is rocking in all facets right now, and they're a fun watch. Looked like he was gonna wait him out, see if he was gonna come over the heart of the plate. Well, news flash, he is, and this hitter's gonna adjust his batting gloves. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Nate Evaldi, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, I'm really excited to watch this guy in this one. He's strung together a solid season up to this point. ERA in the low twos, and that's not an easy thing to do in this day and age of high-scoring games and home runs and teams filled with guys that can hit throughout the lineup. This is a really good pitcher. Here comes the first pitch. Oh, and this fastball is belted to deep left center field. Does he have enough to get out of here? Yes, a home run. So a solo shot here to left center field. Number 17 for him on the season. And the A's are on the board first, one to nothing. Well, if I was the manager, I would tell my pitchers to work around this guy. I mean, he's hit three home good. runs against them in the this series. Thing, what more do they need to see? Four, five, jeez. Enough is enough. Well, these Red Sox entering play here this afternoon. They came up a little short last time out, but they've still been one of the hotter teams around, winning eight of their last 10 ball games. Yeah, Matty, taking a look at the standings right here. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. Taking another look at it, the ball has some top spin on it, but he's on the full run and dives to make the catch. Nice defensive play right there. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is foul near the seats. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Look out, 21. Grounded back up the middle, and that finds its way through for a base hit. Hey, Dan, as a former pitcher, that knock just took him to a 12-game hit streak. Is that in the packet when you're looking yeah, over the lineup? Hey, there's no doubt about that, D-Row. You go into a pitcher's meeting, and they'll make them fully aware of who's hot and who's not. And trust me, they knew that he had an 11-game hitting streak. And after that knock, it's an even dozen. So now it's Mark Canna. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Oh. 
Line down the left field line. But this is going to get foul. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. Shot back up the middle. In there, a base hit. Dan Count goes out the window with this batter right here. It doesn't matter if it's 0-2-2-0. He's locked. He has great bat to ball oh, skills. There are some guys that just have a knack, oh, Nero, of being able to get the barrel of the ball, and this is one of those guys. That's a strike to throw down. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Well, that definitely caught me off guard there. That wasn't exactly the typical steal situation with two outs and a runner on second. I can't say I agree with the strategy, but at the same time, now he can score a lot of different ways. Moreland's there, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Start of the second inning here in Oakland. Let's check in with Heidi for more on the weather. Matt, light rain is in the forecast throughout most, if not all, of the game. But I've been told it's not expected to cause any delays. The grounds crew will just need to make an effort to keep the field as dry as possible between innings, especially the heavy traffic areas like the pitching mound and around the bases. Yeah, Heidi, thanks. And beyond keeping the surface playable, I'm sure you guys would agree, it's avoiding the stops and starts that becomes important in games like this one. Yeah, 100 percent, Matty. The biggest thing is, is if you're going to be out there, you want to grind with the boys. You don't want your starting pitcher having to be sat down. You don't want to have to go inside for an hour and a half, two hours, and then get refocused and restarted up again. Matty, you're so focused out there, you just want to compete and see the game all the way through. Now the one and one pitch. Ball left out. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Not a bad spot to miss right there. Much rather have it run inside than out over the plate where the hitter can do a lot of damage. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Hate to be Captain Obvious here, but he looks great to begin the start. That's already three Ks for him in the first five hitters. It'd be awesome to see him keep up this pace. You know, from an offensive standpoint, they already knew they had their work cut out for him against a great pitcher. But if he's going to locate like that, this is going to be a tough day. Fouled away. Two out, nobody on. And just a masterful job of pitching here as he strikes out the side in order. Red Sox go down one, two, three. It remains 1 0. Now at the plate, Marcus Semyon. He'd love to carry over some of the magic from last night. He was 5 for 5 in that ball game. Pilar is going to get back and he'll put this one away on the warning track for the first out. The first baseman, Matt Olson. That'll bring up the power hitter, Matt Olson. Nine at bats in the series and four base hits. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Pilar's there, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Batting Coming to the plate now, Tony Kemp. Last night was a good one for him as he turned in a four for five effort. Swung on and chopped up the middle. Bogarts to his left. He's there. And they will get. No. He's in there. A very close play at first. Digging in now. Ricky Henderson. Boy, D Roll, this looked like one of those easy one, two, three innings. Next thing you know, a little swinging ground ball and a two out infield base hit. Yeah, it's never too late, and you never know when a rally's going to start. It seemed innocent early on. He got two quick outs. But now we see traffic at first. Barely able to make contact. Down 0 and 2 now. Kemp is off of first with two away. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Chasing after it is Pilar. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. So stepping in, Christian Vasquez. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? 
I'm not sure, yeah. Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Behind 0-2 now. Swing and a miss. Five straight strikeouts now, and there's one gone. Here's the first pitch to him. Man, he is looking flat out unhittable on the mound right now. That's five straight punch outs. I love it, but I think he might want to get his defense involved at some point so they don't fall asleep. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Jackson is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. Got Stepping it, up it. to the plate, the Mitch Moreland. Week. First at bat yeah. for him in this one. It was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. No balls in one strike. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Swing and a miss on the breaking ball and he sets him down for out number three. Here's Chris Davis now. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. There to play it is Moreland and there's one away. The battle. Riding in once again, Matt Chapman. He flew out in his last at bat. Here comes the first pitch. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. Pilar is back to the track as he takes it for route number two. Now batter. So oh, now it'll be the four hole hitter, Reggie. Reggie Jackson. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, Matty, pressure's off right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft, and try and drive something in the gap. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Now batter. The designated hitter. At the plate now, Mark Canna. As he'll take a look at ball one. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Here's a drive out toward left center field. And to score, the runner from second. And he will pull into second with an RBI double. That is what every manager is looking for out of the middle of this lineup. When you get your three, four, and five hitters producing this early in the season, it can be contagious, and everyone in the lineup starts to contribute. And he is in there. The 1 0 home. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. And the runner from third crosses the plate. It's a 3 0 game. The relay throw, and he is in there with an RBI triple. And I can't blame the pitching coach for making that one. That's three consecutive two-out hits here, so he's going to remind this guy that they just need to make one good pitch and get this inning over with. Let's see if the... Oh, hold on here. Well hit into deep left center, and I don't think this one's coming back. No siree. This one is gone. So a two run shot to left center seven home runs for him on the year now and the A's add on more it's now a five nothing game. Well he won his last start but he didn't give up any long balls. He's already given up two here so he's got his work cut out for him if he's going to get the W in this one. He's going to have to start keeping the ball in the yard for starters. And that'll bring up Matt Olson. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left on the move is Martinez. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. So it's four. And here's Jose Peraza back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the... up and the 0-2 pitch hit hard down the left field line but it drops foul down there in the home bullpen area and he popped him up 
Simeon ranging into the outfield and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. The right field. Alec Verdugo. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Red Sox still looking for their first hit here. Swing and a little blooper to center. Simeon trying to get there. He gets there, and that's the second out. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. And then it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And set go. to go is the second baseman, Tony second Kemp. Baseman. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, yeah. you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs, too. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. One ball. I'll tell you, there was intent behind that pitch. I'm not saying he was trying to hit him, but when you're facing a guy like this, you don't want him to get too comfortable in that batter's box. Two and two the count. Here it comes. Line drive to center field. And this will be pulled in just in front of the warning track for the first out. Now so the Oakland lineup turns over and to the plate Ricky Henderson it was a fly out for him in his last trip sent in the air out to straightaway central Pilar is under this one and there's the second out of the inning the battle Two away now in the Oakland fourth. And that'll bring up the big time power bat of right handed hitter Chris Davis. Inside with the fastball, it's 1 0. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Two outs, nobody on, but a base runner here feels like it would really change the complexion of the inning. Big spot right here, middle of the order guys coming up. Let's see if he can extend the inning. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Hit back up the middle. And the off-balance throw is right there for the... Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I talked about the Red Sox offense with the Boston manager, and he told me, overall, he's not happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They haven't had a single guy on base yet, so it's starting to feel a little desperate down here. But he said they've unfortunately just been faced with some really great pitching today. The key going forward is to find any way they can to get him out of his rhythm on the mound. Now, that may be a tall task, but they feel the little adjustments could lead to things turning around for them. All right, Heidi, thank you. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. That's his second strikeout of the game. I wouldn't be surprised if a coach finds him in the dugout and gives him a little talk about shortening up and putting the ball in play. Good things tend to happen when you do that in these kinds of conditions. No runs, no hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Down the first baseline. And this will get past him down the line at first. It's a fair ball. Well, he was definitely not looking off speed on that pitch. I'll tell you, he had to be sitting on a fastball on that one because it's coming in hot, and he still manages to get out front of that and yank. Oh, hang on now. This ball is crushed into left field, and this one ain't coming back. This ball is gone. Oh, that swing has to feel good right there. If you look at the numbers, this guy does not give up many long balls. To take him deep in this spot certainly is huge. And there's out number two. Now that designated hit. So bases are empty Michael. here with two gone. And Michael Chavis will step in at the plate. Lays off 1-0. and And he fouls this one off.
Oh, and here's a drive. Well hit out to straightaway center. Looking up is the center fielder. Gone! Down As he will swing and miss on a fastball on the outer half, it's strike one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. And that'll split the gap as it should be extra bases. This will kick up against the wall now. And he is in the second with a two-out double. Yeah, and I think he might have lulled himself into a false sense of security out there. Prior to this inning, he was pitching a shutout. But now he's starting to look a little off. Jose Peraza is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. A pause and the 0-2. This is on the ground over to first. Throw in time and the side is retired. Ready for another shot now. Matt Chapman. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Almost Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power. He's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something. And drive it out of the yard this A.B. Grounded straight into the shift on the left side. And that's the first down. First delivery to him on the way. Hit hard on the ground to second. He's got it. Throw on to first takes care of him. Two very quick outs to start the home fifth. Now back the designated hitter. Striding forward now is the DH. Mark Hanna hoping to build off that RBI double from his last plate appearance. Well he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. And he dives to make a spectacular. First pitch of the at bat. Alex Verdugo is in to start things out as he swings and misses at that one at strike one. You know you love a guy who attacks the zone but sometimes I think you could throw too many strikes. That could be the case right here. This offense is going to the plate just pulling the trigger on everything. Now back. Here comes the first pitch. J.D. Martinez comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. And it's quickly 0-2. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. First delivery to him on the way. Fouled off. The wind up and the 0-1. Oh, that's off the plate. Hey, a two-out walk right here would be the time run to the plate. Even though it's early on, you got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. The one-two. Hit high and deep out to left center field. Davis going back, still ranging back. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play. Here comes Bob Melvin now out of the Oakland dugout. And we're going to have a pitching change as that's going to be off for his starter this afternoon. Your attention, please. So a good job all in all this afternoon. And as it stands, he can only win this one as he departs with a one-run lead. Four runs, five hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Down 0-2 to a guy with this much weaponry. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Red Sox. Darwin's and Hernandez enters. Leading off, 48. The catcher, Austin. Allen. First offering on its way. Hard hit ball to second. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And the throw will be too late as he can't recover in time. Well, as we take another look at it, you can see that this thing kind of handcuffed him and he couldn't make the play. Comes off the heel of the glove, and the leadoff man is aboard. Marcus Simeon will stride in, but first we take you back to the third as you take another look here at his two run homer that had him rolling early on.
from the belt. The pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And it's a foul ball. Good speed at first and good speed with the guy at the dish. Going to be tough to double up these guys. If you're an infielder, you got to get rid of it quick. Strike taken to throw. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Ready with the 0-2. Hit hard down the left field line. But this is going to get foul. A runner at second, nobody out. On a line, that's a base hit into left field. And not in time as the run scores. Boy, this guy's having a great game here so far, d Home run earlier in the night. And that base hit right there drives in his third run batted in of this game. Yeah, you drive to the park every day hoping your rhythm and timing is on point with that pitcher's windup. And that's exactly been the case today. He not only mixed in that big bond, but now he's got three ribbies to boot. Throw over to first and a dive, but he's back in there. Simeon's off and running. Smoke the other way. High and deep to left. And he's going to make the catch on the warning track. A fine running play there for the first out. Up next for Oakland. The second now with the play, Tony Kemp. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. So it's a two run shot to right center seven home runs for him on the year now and they double him up it's eight to four that's Dinger number six on the day between these two lineups I feel like I'm watching home run derby here guys Dan, I can only speak from my own past experiences when the flags are blowing out you want as many at bats as you can and that's exactly what's happening this ball's jumping at it you know D-Roll this is always a nightmare for a pitcher not only is this a good hitting ballpark but the wind blows out on top of it this is the last place you want to be a pitcher at Ryan Weber enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning uh, couldn't help himself that time as he chases one below the knees at strike one Here's a look over to first. Three runs already home here. And a pitch out. Nothing doing though and that's ball one. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Martinez has a read on it and he makes the catch for the second out. Up next for Oakland, the third baseman, Matt Chapman. Now batting, Matt Chapman. He was a ground out victim last time up. First pitch of the at bat. Pitch out. Nothing doing. The 1 0. On the ground for the shortstop, Bogarts. Right to him. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two run home run. The six, seven, eight. Raleigh Fingers comes on to pitch from the bullpen now in an unexpected move. He's their closer, so it's a surprise to see him here in the seven. Just gets a piece of it, strike one. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Henderson is there and he has it for the first out. The batter, the catcher, Christian Vasquez. 
One man is out in the Red Sox seventh. And from the on deck circle into the batter's box comes Christian Vasquez. Here's the first pitch to him. Ball one taken just off the inside. The 1 0. And here's a ball hit in the air. But no one can get to this one as it's down for a foul ball inside the visitor's bullpen. Inside. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. All even now, two and two. One out, nobody on. And a swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seventh. At the plate, Michael Chavis, one for two in the ball game thus far. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But hey, listen, a home run is a home run. And it's fouled away. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. And we're back for the bottom of the seventh as we check in with Heidi Watney. Well, Matt, I talked to manager Bob Melvin during the break about his thoughts on the A's hitters to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He said it's one of those games where everything has come together for his hitters, from their approach to their swings to the results. It's all working. One key indicator of that, six extra base hits to this point in the game. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Hey, this guy's obviously seeing the ball right now. That's another hard hit single. Three for four right there. He's looking super solid at the plate. Standing in now, Mark Canna, as he'll send a ground ball down to third. Wow, the throw pulls him off the bag. Standing in, Austin Allen. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. And the throw's offline a bit as it gets by him at third. And he'll come in to score from second base. And that is a direct result, obviously, of that poor, poor throw. Out in front as he rolls over it to second. Reined in. Throw will get him at first for out number one. But on the play, another run will come in to score. Ready now, Marcus Simeon. Here's the first pitch to him. And here's a ball in the air now, carrying a bit out toward right center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Now that first baseman. Striding into the box, Matt Olson. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Hard hit ball towards the hole. Fielded cleanly. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends. The ball set for the start of the inning, and next the dangerous power threat, Mitch Moreland. Swing and a miss on the sinker, 0 and 1. When the pitcher on the mound's establishing this kind of heater, you got to come off everything else and find a way to get that bat head in the zone. Hey guys, he was obviously trying to bury that slider down and in. Nice execution by the batter right there. Keeping his hands inside and fighting it off for a nice base hit. Jose Peraza stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. Behind 0-2 now. Grounded to first. He's got it to second for one. On to first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game as there are quickly two away now. Now batter, right fielder. First pitch on its way. Alex Verdugo is in with two away as he takes a ball 1 and 0. And a strike to even the count 1 and 1. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swung on and missed 1 and 2 now. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. Simeon onto the grass. He tracks it down and that will end the Trying to pick things up where we left off. Tony Kemp so far two for three in this one. 
first pitch of the at bat. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And it's gone as they add still another. This one has turned into a slugfest of Ruthian proportions. Seven combined big flies. You guys remember seeing anything like that in a while? Dan, they're absolutely not going to cover off the ball. I'm curious to get your take on this. I didn't find it to be the truth. I didn't mind hitting at night. But a lot of guys say they see the ball better during the day. You know what's funny, D-Row, is, is I preferred to pitch in night games as opposed to day games. I always thought it was advantage to the hitter. And so far, that looks like it's the case in this one right here. They must be seeing the ball really well because they're, they're just absolutely smoking the baseball right now. On to first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Now back. Next up for the A's, Chris Davis. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Line drive to left, and that's a base hit. He's now two for five in this one. Chalk up another multi-hit game for this guy. He is absolutely on fire. He's been on a nice hot streak as of late, and I don't see it ending anytime soon. And that'll bring in Matt Chapman. And he's first pitch swinging here as he lines this one into left field for a base hit. No mistake what he was sitting on. Fastball, middle of the plate, kept his hands back, stayed through the baseball, and delivers a hard hit line drive. Now the double steal is on here. Pitch misses low. The throw down. Not in time. He's safe at third as they pull off the double steal. The 1-0 home. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. Second and third here, one man out. As we near the end of this one, I think it's safe to say that the story of the game has undoubtedly been the long ball. Guys, what do you think about what we've witnessed? Well, as a former offensive player, I absolutely love it. Kudos to both lineups for doing absolute damage today. One of the most fun watches of the year. You know, Dero, what this shows me is this new age way of guys going up. Meanwhile here, the throw to third is not in time, and he's in there safely. Oh, this kind of goes against those unwritten rules of baseball. They're leading big, so there's really no reason for them to steal third right there, and I'm not sure that was taken too kindly in the opposing dugout. And Moreland will put this one away, and that ends the inning. Here's J.D. Martinez starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Lays off that time, and it's one and two. And that misses two and two. Boy, that's a tough pitch to lay off right there, just out of the strike zone. But listen, when you're a 300 hitter, you don't chase a lot of those so-called pitcher's pitches. This guy knows the strike zone. So it was a swinging strike three. J.D. Martinez takes his third strike out of the day. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. Into the concrete staircases and gone. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. And he's way off balance with the swing there. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Now here it comes. Every pitcher gives up home runs, some more than others. But the best ones, forget about them as soon as the next guy digs into the batter's box. He showed me a lot right there by going after the next hitter and striking him out on only three pitches. And there's a called strike two as now they're down to their final strike this afternoon. And this crowd wasn't all that big, but they've stuck around to the final out. Two out, nobody on. Fouled away. Last strike now for the Red Sox. 
Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Hey, a great win for these guys as they wrap up another one. But a little bit of a sour note, though. Everyone has to head home, get on those computers, and get those tacks.